Anyway, uh, one of the main things he had me do was to um, have the girls, I think there were about three girls doing the typing, he had me go to the library and pick out the civil engineering uh, book uh, that had the names and addresses of all the country's civil engineers. And he, he had the girls type those on a little uh, a silk screen address. I, I don't know if you've seen them, but in those days you just type on this little silk screen and then you put it on a device and it would it would uh, address an envelope. Right, like an address of type. Yeah. And uh, he went through that whole book with these girls typing all those names and addresses. And I was in charge of those girls doing that. But uh, He wanted to mail to all the uh, engineers and uh, yeah. so forth uh, about Dianetics. Correct? Yeah, without Purcell knowing about it, uh, he started this Allied Scientists of the World thing. It was Allied Scientists Allied of the Allied Scientists of, of the, the World. world. Right, I've heard of that, but... Um. And um, I got woke up about 3 o'clock in the morning one morning, and he handed me a plane ticket and said, go on to Denver, the girl I hired to take charge of the office there uh, uh, disappeared. Actually, the girl had used him just to get a free ticket to Denver, apparently. Uh. So I ended up at this office the next morning, and... And uh, no sooner got in there and I started getting hit by everything you can imagine. And the Better Business Bureau, the, the FBI, the, the this, the that. I mean, just one right after the other coming in, trying to find out who was behind it all. And Hubbard didn't want his name associated with it. So about the same time, I got a hold of Hubbard on the phone and told him that my friend Ross Lamoureux was in charge of processing. He was a friend of, of Harvard's too. He was a PhD in psychology. Ross had hired me to do auditing there too in the processing center. And Ross had told me that Don Purcell had put uh, some sort of listening device on Harvard's phone when he was recording it. So I got that information. I called Ron and told him. He was now being monitored by Purcell, and uh, I got pretty upset with the whole shooting match, so I called my wife to tell her to come in and pick me up in the car. So she drove the first time in her life she ever drove on the highway. She drove all the way from Wichita to, to Denver, Colorado. Oh, wow. Picked me up, and uh, the, that was my out. That's I went into a different business after that. So that was your last, uh, really, um, involvement with uh, yeah. Dynex? Yeah, I did, I did, I did uh, correspond with Hubbard many, many years afterwards. That was my last involvement, yeah.